Have I become an idol to you? Welcome to Animated Christians. My name is Zeke Matthew, and if you want to learn more about this channel, you can click the video card above. Now, I'm not saying that all churches or all pastors are like this. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. So what are idols? Well, let's look at a definition of idols. A person or thing that is greatly admired or loved or revered. Or an image or representation of God used as an object of worship. A lot of us think of the second definition as an idol, like one bowing down to a rock. And if it does not represent that definition, then it is not considered an idol. So do we have idols in the church? Let's see. Let's see. You have a praise and worship team that's on stage that's raised up every week by the same people that lead you into worship. You have the same pastor that is admired by everyone and is the only one that speaks. So what do you think? Are there idols in the church? Read this definition again. Persons who are greatly admired, loved, and revered, and unfortunately, pastors and the praise and worship teams represent present idols within the church even though they don't mean to. In this clip from What's the Church Season 1, Role of a Pastor, I give a pretty good description of what an idol is. Good example in the church is if I go on stage, all of a sudden I become more important and all you do is look up to me instead of God, then you have put me on a pedestal or, in this situation, an idol before you to get the words from me and not from God. If you want to see the whole video, click the video card above. Now, what does scripture have to say about idols? In Exodus chapter 20 verse 4 says, You are not to make any idol or image of other gods. In fact, you are not to make an image of anything in the heavens above, on the earth below, or in the waters beneath. You see, in this scripture, we're not meant to be idols in the church. Rather, we are servants within the church. You see, churches are convinced almost to the point that they think they're doing the right thing, but they have created an idol of themselves for the people thinking they're reaching Christ. And who does this remind you of? You guessed right, the Pharisees. Pastors are very similar to the religious scholars and Pharisees of the New Testament because they both read out of the Bible or law, teach the law, and have synagogues as well, which would be equivalent to a modern day church. So what can we do about this? First of all, lower the stage, yes the stage you are standing on, and stop being admired by the people, thinking you are higher than anyone else, and come back to everyone's level and start speaking to everyone in your congregation at their level instead of being admired by the people while you're on stage because if you don't how will you understand them pastors are no different than me and you same goes for the worship team they are all on the same level and not one is over another so I hope this gives a better explanation of what idols are and how they are affecting the church. And join me next Friday for the final episode where we will discuss the community within the church. And never forget, Animated Christians, it's just for you.